All six robots at their starting position. A quick collision between Daviato and Josh. Both of those robots go to the Red Alliance trench very quickly to pick up those preloaded power cells. First on the scoring action appears to be the Red Alliance. They pick up 84 points during that 15 second autonomous period. The Blue Alliance able to pick up 78. Red will race back to their loading zone. It looks like Brennan will be the last one there, but only three power cells for them to be able to pick up. Until Blue scores more power cells, Red is going to face a bit of a power cell draw and all three of those red robots have raced back to the power port for the red alliance unloading whatever power cells they're able Daviato in blue bumpers playing some defense up against jason in red that causes a quick reset for one of those robots the red alliance with a slight lead here only by about 10 points with just over a minute and a half remaining in the match nick and yan yang of the blue alliance both taking aim at that power port starting to now create a lead in favor of the blue alliance all three robots for red back and ready to score on that initiation line taking a look up at the power port above them but defense from daviato in blue is slowing down that red alliance scoring cycle just over one minute now remaining in the match still about 10 points in favor of the Red Alliance is the difference between scores in this match. The Red Alliance at this point also having scored more power cells. Josh and Brennan of the Red Alliance making the trench run underneath that control panel on the near side of the field. Both of those robots take aim what lined up right behind each other, going up for two or three points apiece with those yellow power cells. 10 seconds until our end game, Nick, Daviato, and Yan Yang all in front of the Blue Alliance power port, but Daviato had a respawn back on the initiation line, meaning they lost all of their power cells in the process. So in order to make a few more scoring attempts for Blue, Daviato had to go all the way back to the Blue Alliance loading zone, and now we'll have to go back to that power port. With just 20 seconds remaining in the match, the Blue Alliance has now taken the lead once again. Red is starting to come behind them, though. Jason and Josh both unloading one more hopper full of power cells before making a climb on the shield generator switch in the center of the field. It looks like all six robots are ready to climb, and all six of them are hanging at the conclusion of semifinal match number two, indicating a very narrow Blue Alliance victory. And again, congratulations to the blue number three alliance, 406 to 396, a remarkably tight match in semifinal two. Now we have played our first round of semifinal matches. In both of them, there was an upset, the lower seeded alliance coming away with the victory. We're gonna head back to semifinal one for our second matchup, where alliance one is going to have to try to get the win to force a third tiebreaker match between alliances one and four. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.